What strange item did you believe to be normal or acceptable, but turned out to be a medical issue? I thought the voice telling me to kill myself and being useless and everyone would be better without me was my conscience aka inner voice. I thought this meant I had a realistic view on myself. It became worse and worse turned out to be psychosis mixed with my already severe depression. I still cannot believe I was thinking it was normal. Thanks to the right and tip psychotists I am free of this voice. Not really medical, but I discovered that my brain works differently than other people. I think more logically than most. But I have a hard time remembering things. Even with calculations. I have an easier time decomposing the calc than knowing it. 7 by 6 is harder to me than 7 by 3 by 2. It seems that many people can't do that kind of cal. They just know it's 42. While well, I just know it's 7 by 3, 21, 21 by 2, 42. I thought it was normal to be able to bend my thumbs to lay flat against my forearms, to be able to bend my fingers backwards to be parallel with my hands, and have my knees bend backwards. Turns out I have hypermobility, and it explains so many things from my clumsiness and bruising really to having digestive issues, constant fatigue, and fainting episodes. Today the doctor informed me that what I was feeling was not normal and in fact was chronic pain. And I have been living like that for 35 years. I mean, as a guy, I don't complain about aches and pains cause it's just a part of life. And besides, how was I supposed to know it wasn't normal to have back pain as far back as I can remember? I was a kid. Random raised itchy spots. I thought they were weird bug bites. But they're hives. Vision going black when I stand up sometimes. I just thought I stood up too quick. Felt like I could feel the energy from other people like an electric current zapping between us. Feeling pills get stuck in my throat on a regular basis and lodge at my sternum. One day, while playing with my dogs, I believed I had torn a muscle. I eventually visit the hospital a week later since the agony is growing worse. It turns out that I had multiple pulmonary embolisms on my lungs and a two-foot lock clot in my leg due to a genetic blood clotting problem. The doctor was actually shocked that I survived. I had a very slight cough that didn't go away so I thought maybe I had a cold or something really minor like that. Turns out I have a rare disease where my trachea slowly closes up over time and never stops. Now I need regular steroid shots directly into my trachea, or surgery where they use a laser to cut out the scar tissue. Fun. I was diagnosed with ADHD at 37. I didn't work it out until I was 35. I have been in a constant internal war for decades and I thought it was all normal because I had no other perspective. After I was diagnosed, I went into proper detail about it with my wife, and she was shocked at what was happening under the surface. When I was a bit older, I finally got glasses. I was so surprised to realise that things didn't just automatically get blurry the further away they were. It was like a revelation I vividly remember staring at the sharp outlines of faraway mountains, amazed that I could see each tree so clearly. No more fuzzy blobs for me. Asperger's, weirdness, insecurity, and a whole host of things that just define me as weird. Normalization in the world is so hard to deal with, but there is science behind those of us who are. Edit more about what I considered abnormal, but whatever. Back then I thought my acne was just a phase of teenage, it turned out to be a persistent skin condition which required medical treatment. Learning to take proper care of my skin has been a valuable lesson in self-care and building up my confidence I'd say. At 32 I saw a good rheumatologist and found out that the crippling joint pain I have is pretty normal for someone in their 70s or 80s but not in your twenties and thirties. I remember asking the doctor doesn't everyone ache? And he's like dot 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 no. They don't. Painful periods. I thought that was how periods are. Every woman complains about cramps. Right. So it was just cramps. Oh mal. Oh. It actually ended up being stage for endometriosis. My pain was way above and beyond normal cramps. I'll say it, chronic diarrhea, I just figured it was due to my diet or something, and that everyone had it on a regular basis. 
Not every time, but frequent enough. Turns out I have celiac, ulcers, IBD, and bowel nerve damage, asperges, weirdness, insecurity, and a whole host of things that just define me as weird. Normalization in the world is so hard to deal with, but there is science behind those of us who are. When I was 17, I started having days where my face felt really fucking weird and it felt like I couldn't smile the way I usually did. Turns out your face feeling wrong is an MS symptom. Classes, I am not nearsighted, farsighted, etc. But I get flashbanged even in low light because of my ocular rosacea, which I didn't find out I had had until last year. I'm 23. I thought everyone had foot pain when walking uphill. In fact, I had acute tendonitis. I got customized inserts for my shoes, and the problem was significantly reduced. Hearing better out of one ear than the other. Went to do the medical exam to enter the military and failed the hearing exam. Turned out I was missing a bone in my ear. I thought I had a chronic cough. Turns out as I got sicker and sicker that it was a horrible and rare infection caused by two underlying respiratory diseases. I thought my stomach problems, palpitating heart, meltdowns, just being nerdy was due to stress. I found out at 55 I was autistic with inattentive ADHD. My mother's horrible overreactions and temper, lack of empathy and blanking out the truth. She was finally diagnosed as being bipolar to in her 50s. For my vision to go black for the first 5-10 seconds upon standing, and to need to sit in the shower to not pass out. I thought everyone got dizzy fainted when they got out of bed in the morning. Apparently not. Low blood pressure.